nutrition. Like that. That's it. Okay, you can do it. <laughs> yeah, except it pressed the record right away. <laughs> Did I? Yeah, apparently. Oh. <laughs> hey, YouTube, Dog Edition 84 <laughs> here with uh, the gorgeous Emma. I know, I'm just so tired. <laughs> oh. And uh, welcome to Q&A number 42. Yeah, I'm having to read the questions like this because I'm not at my PC and don't have a screen recording program. Um, so let's kick this off, uh, starting with three questions from Matt and Alison Welsh. One, out of all the new Neos support in Power of the Duelist, which one is your favourite? Matt loves Element of Heroes Shining, Neos Wingman, and I really love Spirit of Neos, and Awake Awakening Your Elemental Hero, even though it's not in that set, sadly. Um... I would say it's a toss-up between Shining Neos Wingman and uh, the trap card that lets you do a fusion summon from anywhere. I really like that one. Um, so it's like, what's that? I get to bring out Shining Flare Wingman or Rainbow Neos on the opponent's turn. Don't mind if I do. Um... Next one is, uh, oh yeah, uh, number two. Uh, since the Dark Magician archetype finally got its own Karibo card, do you think Elemental Hero Neos will get his own Karibo? Yep, I can see that happening. Um, uh, I feel like it would be a mixture of Neos and Winged Karibo, since that's the Karibo that Jaden uses. Um, so yeah, it would be a Karibo with wings and dressed as Neos. That would be cool. 3. Which Ghost Rare are you looking forward to getting the most from Ghost from the Past 2? Uh, Matt was lucky to pull the Eye of Tamias from one case he and I bought, which is actually the one he wanted the most. <laughs> this is a kind of awkward, because uh, at the time of recording this was posted six days ago and um and then after that was when I just decided to buy the singles um from Ghost from the Past too. Um I mean honestly, um it, it's a toss up between uh Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and, and the Winged Dragon of Ross Sphere mode. Um Otherwise, if I was trying to pull them from packs, I would have said Dark Magician Girl and Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> yeah, this one right here, unfortunately, didn't sleep too well last night. Nope. And it's warm. Oh yeah, there's that too. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised you heard that. That's it too. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, I guess that answers that question. Um, next one's from Gangster of Games Productions. If you worked for a card department of Konami, what cards would you add to your most favourite deck, that would be Dark Magician, to make them meta and why? Um, honestly, I don't think I would do that. Um, yeah, because uh, as much as I like Dark Magician, he has enough support as it is. Um, but if there was something to add, I'd still want something that can search for the Eye of Tamias. Either that or the Eye of Tamias should be eroded so that Rod, Circle and Inheritance can search it and uh, Soul Servant can stack it. Um, but yeah, other than that, why would I want... <coughs> excuse me. 
well, why would I want to make it meta? Like, this is me we're talking about. I don't care for meta. Um, and as I've said enough times already, I'm not interested in tournaments anymore. So, um, I don't think I would give it support that would make it meta. Hmm. I've got a it... question. Oh, yeah. How many times do you fart a day? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That number's varied. <laughs> And it also depends what I've eaten. Yeah. What's your most favourite food? Right, and we're back after technical difficulties. So That wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I just ran out of space on here somehow. Probably because of that failed attempt to do that battle of royal endurance on Saturday. Um, anyway, favourite food. Um, it's actually a toss-up between three things, like mashed potato, hamburgers, and chicken, chicken, fillet, chicken mm -hmm. fillets. Uh, and chickeny things is normally what I'd have for dinner on Tuesday, although we did have that last night. Mm, they were really nice, they were. Yeah, they were delicious. Mm. Um, hey, I've now got six questions from Weber's Five. Uh, one, would you rather have Yuma's shining draw to draw the perfect card to your hand, or Yusuku's storm access to add the perfect card to your extra deck? Um, I think I'd prefer the Shining Draw one, just so I um, stop bricking as much or dead drawing. Um, that would be more useful to me, I think. Two, if you could enter any Yu Gi Oh tournament from the anime, which would you choose? I'd probably pick either Duelist Kingdom, the KC Grand Prix, or Arc 5's Junior Youth Battle Royale? Um, oh, that's a good question. Um, I, um, I feel like it would be a choice between two things. Um, Duelist Kingdom, just because of the nostalgia, although I'd have to get used to um, the Duelist Kingdom rules, where, like, uh, you could normal summon high level monsters without tributing and no direct attacks. Um, God, those were the days. Um, but I guess I'd also choose um, the Battle Royale one. They sound like the most fun. Um, although, I would like to play in Battle City as well. That would be fun. 3. Since Lightning Overdrive, Dawn of Majesty, Battle of Chaos, Dimension Force and Power of the Elements have upgraded 5 out of 6 protagonist archetypes, do you think we'll eventually get one for Yusuku's Firewall Dragon and Coat Talkers? Yes, I absolutely do think we'll get that eventually. Um, and I feel like... Um, some sort of mixture between Deco Talker and Firewall Dragon would would be something they'd go and do and create. Um, like, and I'd probably call it Firewall Code Talker or something like that. I thought you were going to say Fire Dick. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's some funny names for you for your cards. Um, <laughs> what's one of them? Yeah, there's a lot of funny names, like Ghost Beef, Mild Turkey... Um, chicken one, that's the one. It's a chicken one. A chicken game? There's a... something... there's a cock one and... <laughs> 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 oh, would it be cock a doodle -doo? That's it, yeah. <laughs> cock one. <laughs> yeah, I just remember there being a car called... Something cock. Oh. Good lord. <laughs> uh, four. 
Have you seen my latest Endymion deck profile with my new intro and outro? Uh, no, I haven't yet, but I will. Um, I have a lot in my subscription box to catch up on. As um, Well, I have been very busy since Saturday, and I've not had the time to go through everything. Uh, but I'll get there eventually. 5. If Dark Magician of Chaos still had its pre arasa effect, would you play it in your Dark Magician deck? I don't know if I would, uh, Errata or no Errata. As, um, there's not really a lot of room to fit in other cards, as much as I'd want to fit them in. Um, I feel like I'd have to do what I did in the earlier days of when we had the support from the Dark Illusion, which was play... Um, <coughs> Chocolate Magician Girl and Dark Magic Veil. Back in the days of the toilet humour. <laughs> no, that would be 2012, my love. <laughs> that was fun. Yu Gi Oh! and toilet humour. <laughs> I feel like I should, I should explain this joke. Yeah. So, um, so basically, first night, um, of my second Margate trip. I stayed um, around this one's place um, and someone else's um, and one of them was looking up fart jokes on a phone <laughs> and I said oh my god too much toilet humour <laughs> and then she burst out laughing <laughs> and her laugh made me laugh like I, I was just on the floor <laughs> gone and then when I was able to breathe, I said, shall I flush it out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you flush out your backside sometimes. <laughs> it's not just me that blows off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never. I never blow off. Sure you don't, my dear. <laughs> um... Anyway, getting back on topic, last question. Uh, if you could switch a currently banned card with an unlimited card, literally switching the banned card will go to free and the unlimited goes to zero, uh, which would you choose and why? Um, I think the banned card I'd choose would probably be Max C. Because um, um, here's the thing regarding my opinion of banned cards. There's five particular favourites that I have. Maxi, Cyberjar, Fiberjar, Pot of Greed and Graceful Charity. And out of the five, I feel like Maxi would be the fairer one. Um, whereas all the other ones, I don't think should ever be unbanned. Well, maybe one or two, but I just don't know. Mm -hmm. Um... And uh, Maxi is my second favourite hand trap, and um, yeah. and yeah, there were valid reasons for its banning. But to be fair, uh, it can be stopped by Ash Blossom, Called by the Grave, and um, well, literally every other monster effect negates in the game. But actually, maybe not Fiendish Chain or Breakthrough Skill, of course, but. Um, That's what I choose. Um, and as for the currently unlimited one, well, that would be my most hated card in the game right now. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, because fuck that guy. <laughs> um, but I've already beaten on a tangent about him more than enough times already. Um, so I don't really need to explain that. Um, and that is it for questions in this episode. So, uh, thanks a lot for your guys' questions. And um, if you've got any other questions you want to ask me, post them in the comments down below. And remember, I do these episodes every Tuesday afternoon or evening UK time. So be sure to get your questions in before then so that you don't miss out. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> He's so cute when he <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, thanks again. Stay safe. Um, I'm about to get tickled by this one by the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew I'm not the only one. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> Thankfully, I can't smell anything. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Quite loud as well. You are funny at times. <laughs> As I was saying, oh, there you go. <laughs> thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'm probably not going to be safe from afar if I get up. <laughs> and we'll see you later. Bye, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Dark Retrition YouTube channel.